Welcome back to another free clutch mode video. This visual effects breakdown video will be going over the Minecraft collaborations I've made in the past. One of them is only a few seconds long and the other is a bit longer with a bit more story put into it, such as this one that's on screen right now. That's the long one. And the other one was the short one. This is the rig that I've used. I bought it online and I've been using it ever since. This rig is for Cinema 4D users and I'm mainly a Cinema 4D user myself. I don't use like any other bit of software having to do with CGI. It's compatible with my software and it was it's pretty cheap in my opinion. Considering what it can do, it was pretty cheap. This is a really advanced rig. I think that's why it costed money in the first place. This rig can do a lot. I mean, just look at this. Look at that. I move his arm and his whole, his whole body goes through it a little bit. Hello everybody, what's up, how y'all doing? <laughs> but how I do the face animations is uh, I go over here and I press this and I press Q and boom, we got a whole facial control panel. Now I click this right here and press Q again and boom, I'm up to his face. Now since this is a rig, each part of uh, what you see right here on the left side here, they each do something to the face. For example, if I want them to say something like, subscribe, <laughs> subs, Subscribe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can uh, I can do a bunch of cool stuff with this. It's pretty cool. <laughs> hey yo, yo, it's your boy back at it again with another daily vlog, baby. Anyway, you can basically uh, move whatever thing you want, adjust the face however you want, and also above that you can. Uh, you know, you can animate it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> this is the eyes. It's pretty cool. I love how uh, the whole head moves along with it. He's like, what is, what's over there? What's over there? Pretty cool, man. Yeah, he's like, what is going on? <laughs> this is render view. It basically gives you a little sneak peek of what you're going to render out before you render it. There's a little option down here that I don't think I've ever used before called ambient light. It's really, I think it's mainly used for thumbnails whenever people do use this rig. Because now if I click render view, there's a bit of glow on the outside of them. That's pretty cool. And there's no light within the scene, keep in mind. So basically what I do before I uh, input my rig into the software, I go over to the motion tracker option within my Cinema 4D settings. And then, uh, I, and then I click this little button down here. This is motion tracker. I click it once and it does this thing weird thing in my camera. It's because it's adjusting it to its default position before I actually track the footage. I drag the, uh, the file name that I want to track in here in the footage section. And then I just click full solve and it'll like load a little bar down here. And then sooner or later, it will have a bunch of dots everywhere. And then everything will be perfectly tracked. You can go through the frame and all the dots will follow the point that they were following previously but then on top of that that's when I uh, animate my little guy here pretty cool hey guys what's up how you doing thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and if you're not already please subscribe I uh, really appreciate it and uh, yeah well uh, that's about it peace out have a wonderful day